My name is Mike Flanagan, and my partner Betsy Scola and I run a company called Alternative Needs Transportation, better known as Ant Bicycles. We specialize in bicycles built for transportation, and our tagline is not sport, transport. Well, my definition of a bicycle built for transportation, uh, on the most simplest level, would be a bicycle that has lights and a bell. So that way you're a legal vehicle on the road and have every right to be there, uh, day or night. Uh, but I, I think that to have one that is more useful is to have one that's fully equipped. And uh, the next thing in line would be a basket or a rack to be able to carry your things, you know, lunch, groceries, clothing, what have you, so that that way you're not just carrying it on your back. Uh, other accoutrements that make life more comfortable would be fenders, uh, chain guard, kickstand, uh, internally geared hub system and braking system is, are all other things that really make life a lot more convenient and to me that defines a transportation bike. One of the things we try to do here at Ant is find a balance between function and style. One of the early inspirations to Ant were images that I'd seen in books of old French bicycles and other European bikes that concentrated on transportation rather than sport. We've also been inspired by antique bicycles, ones that were built from the 1890s to 1910, and they had a certain style that seems that uh, have been lost, and I'm trying to recapture that. Well, I've been in the bicycle business since 1983, and in 1989, I got a job at a bicycle factory called Fat City Cycles. But while at Fat City, I had taught myself how to weld and, and braze, and that sort of got my foot in the door of, of the manufacturing aspect. Uh, when Fat City had dissolved, me and some other employees had started a company called Independent Fabrication, which is an employee-owned company and is still in business in Somerville, Mass. And at both of these companies, they were handcrafted but a high volume companies so that we were able to get experience that other builders were unable to get uh, with, say, building by yourself, only building, you know, 10 or 20 frames a year, when you're working at a factory making hundreds if not thousands per year, you get exposed to things that other people would not otherwise be able to see. You know? And so now I've kind of gone back to being a one-person shop that's similar to other builders around the country. However, I have a manufacturing background with high volume and high quality. And now I have equipped my shop as if it's a manufacturing facility, but yet it's a small operation where things are done one at a time by one person throughout the process from sales and talking with the customer and figuring out what their needs are to the machining, welding, aligning, uh, the finish work, painting, powder coating, wheel building and assembly, and even shipping. So I do the process throughout. Well, one thing that sets Ant part for its manufacturing process is that we do TIG welding or a lugless construction. And this allows me to be a lot more creative with the shapes and styles of the bicycles that I build. The one thing that I do that uh, not many people do is trying to create a certain uh, style of the triangles. And so I cut the tubing off center so that the outside line of the frame makes a continuous connection. And that's just a subtle way of, of setting my bikes apart evokes a certain feeling that the style is fitting for some reason. One other thing that I do to my frames that kind of make it uh, completely different from anybody else's are my seat stay caps. I use a cone-shaped seat stay cap that uh, is, is distinctive and nobody else uses that. So if you saw my bicycle without any name on it or paint, it, you could identify it. Another aspect of my bicycles is that most of them are all black and they only have the brass nameplate that has ant etched into it in the shape of an ant. And there are no other insignias on the frame and uh, makes it a very sort of timeless look. And I had always had an interest in building bicycles for transportation and making these city type roadsters and cargo bikes. And uh, that was really my passion. And so that's why I wanted to start Ant. And there are a few places that have, uh, you know, where the government has put an effort into their infrastructure, uh, mostly in, you know, Denmark and Holland. 
uh, but also in Germany and, and other countries. So they've invested in their communities by uh, building a transportation system just like they do with everything else with uh, autos and trains and you know, ferries and walkways. They've also built cycle paths so that people can safely ride their bicycle for transportation. And, and that's what's lacking in America is that we have built everything around the automobile and not around people.